doesn't want to, yeah? He, so he wants to fight. He doesn't want to snipe a courier, he wants to fight, he wants to battle, force the stun. Now Bow Strike spent, no tail, caught out by the Storm Spirit, ball lightning in, and Saxa dragged back with a vortex. In comes the Dawnbreaker to star break the next assassin, while Sumail has to waveform into the trees. Ancient apparition, helped out by the shackle shot. In comes Seb with the Epi Burrow, beautiful in there with a vacuum back from Sumail as well. The Rainers Burn not appearing to do too much, but with a heal coming in, GPK is kept alive and they blow he's through Thompson. Seb, he's got another Burrow. He's doing a decent chunk of damage and Sumail wants to finish on GPK, but he surged. DM gets the Storm out of harm's way, dodging danger every step of the way and Sumail chain stunned into oblivion. Power shots there, GPK, long ball in. Forces no tail to ice blast him, but the two supports from OG being dispatched with quickly. Epicenter from Scepter with a burrow forward. King Slayer's down, no IO anymore, but that crit. Nightfall just whacks straight into Seb. IO boys back Check as well, while connect. Thompson chases GPK, but he's got mana to play around with. Ball lightning into the vortex. GPK hunts the Wind Ranger. Thompson, he's desperate for it. Where's the rest of VP? Nightfall comes in a little bit too late, but they've killed off three of OG regardless. And with the Starbreaker. wall illusion, Starbreaker's coming, Nightfall is chasing, Thompson is running. Gets in the roach pit. Their scan does connect and turn red. But OG, they're, they're tracked up. Sand King, Thompson, all spotted out. Now a track onto Saxon, I mean, save, just keeping the vision on them, also mail. The burst strike, long range, he wants to blow. Kingslayer, he does get the job done. No buyback on him, but he's off. dead anyway. Doesn't shift, doesn't survive. Saxon hounded by GPK and Virtus Pro. They're on the chase forward. Seb with the epicenter looking for the blink burrow, catching him out, and down goes the Dawnbreaker. GPK still with a DD rune going, though Shackle Shot won't lash behind him. Turns to blow up Thompson and DM on a killing spree. These are all track kills. Money, money, money. And it comes towards VP. Seb, nothing left to give. 21 charges, but no burrow, no blink, no survival. OG gonna be wiped off the face of the map. Six track kills in a row. You kind of don't want to. You want to save that, but you might need to. Oh, Seb. He's jumped in aggressively. Sumail with a burst strike. BKBs himself up. They get another burrow forward with a three man with a vortex. GPK. He catches the back lines, but doesn't kill anyone off. Thompson destroys the storm. No buyback on him. Focus fires and gets a double kill. Save now. Scythe be damned. Can't do a thing. Nightfall shifts into that mid lane. They've got a morphling illusion from the wall to play with too. Jackal does not connect. They focus fire on that Dawnbreaker. Nightfall straight into the mix behind the tier four. Sumail barely waveforms away. Great Gleipnir out from Thompson, but the little piggy spinning around while Sep. Epicenter Burrow kills off the two supports and Sumail gets a double kill. Storm off spirit, the back of no Sep mana. stuns. And they need to run down they to have mid one lane. lane pushing in. Bottom and top, and start trending in towards that. But do man, with that two man vacuum and the wall, no real follow through. I was expecting a bit more there. Gale Force causing some issues. Sam and Thompson make the play in towards them. Can they them. blow him up? Yes, yes they can. Going to die in Nightfall's fallen as well. They blow up two cores. No buyback on Nightfall and saves in trouble as well. The epicenter of double burrow gives triple kill to Seb. That, that's game. They, they don't have the buybacks of these heroes. Motel doesn't even have the voice line, but he's going to drop the rat -ta 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 anyway. They also have no glyph. Go tier fours. OG have done it, boys. They're going to close this one out. 35 to 53. They were down like 20 kills, and now they're winning. Victories within sight. DM tries. He's got a BKB up, and GPK zips in. But what can a storm do on his own? Absolutely nothing. He's stunned. He's disabled. DM's gone! Gary, when it's time to call it, it is time to call it's it. GG! Man, what a comeback from OG in this game. This is why Dota is such a beautiful game. I mean, I have watched the other esports, but this is why he's not gonna be killed. Oh, like, 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 who's it come down to then? Seb has to do it, but Seb has to be... Oh, the quick BKB! Very fast on the fingers. Let's get a little stun of the Monkey King here. Sleeping. The Magnus and Carapace back, but MSS with a hex, a bit of back and forth, but a two-man start, the Supernova in the back, Super they're Nova. gonna find them! Sumail has to BKB and run, but Laszlo has the RP! They the want more! Stuff from they're Quinty not done! Crew, and they're gonna keep going for more! Seb, he's x mark 
back, he's dead! Quincy Brew has their number. Saxo and Thompson try and turn around onto Quinn. No teleport back for this, but you are with a triple kill. Thompson needs to be careful. Only the Simulate is available. Nice dog. away from the stun, and a double kill will be his. But another torrent's there for an ultra. Yo, Oz, Monkey King! In the previous series where there was a Crystalis and also Aghanim Shard, or the one before. Hello! Now, inside the pit. Hello! SNX Assassin who's got a carapace on the two of them with a two-man stun to go along with it! Let's Lau's blown up! Oh! Quincy Crew, they thought they were making a move! Oh, he's getting caught! OG to turn it back on them. They get the Luna, though. Magnus for Luna doesn't feel so bad. Saps 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 in a trees. very bad spot trying nice to get out. Little stomp there, but they'll scout him out. And this fight is over for OG. You know something oh. fishy is happening. They just get they get the Aegis for free. Top tier three is half HP. But OG don't get the finish. They they want to fight this still though, even with the Aegis in hand. OG! Quinn nearly blown up! Can they take him down? They'll get it! Yes, they can. Cork has can gone! No tells traded out, they fight back with Quinn. Quinn. Great battle, a strike though from Yoar. Picks up some ale and straight back onto the ET. Fake pop the RP. Les Lau didn't even need it. Nick's assassin finally finishes his item. That Ooh, the that could make a difference. Nice oh, carapace. With a spirit on top of him, he's gonna get stomped up here. So Mail is waiting for his moment. There's Thompson flicking in the back. With the RP on the Luna, they catch her out. Inside, Inside the Wukong. Inside the Wukong, and down you go. Assassins go set it up and they're gonna find another one. Quincy crew with another couple of quick kills. Beautiful execution. And with Quinn coming in, they do stomp him to stop the combo. But Yoar is so strong! He's out of everything to simulate. Big AoE, but still, he's gonna drop. Great atomization from Quincy's support. Behind. Those two E on this are gonna keep them alive. Here we go. And there's the E on this already. Nice hands to stick on but they're blowing up. Thompson gets both supports. Now Quinn. Oh, he's got PKB ready. He's gonna have to use it here. He's gonna have to run. But no, you are. He's been stunned. A whole cross top. back finds no tail. But a Wukong's command for a Nyx Assassin and losing both supports feels pretty bad for Quinn. Beautiful. And there it is. Roshan falling. OG claiming the prize. Saxa grabbed up by Quinn. X mark dragged and the backstab again oh, from Thompson PKB. forces the supernova, but the abyssal blade. Oh no, he's out! Your cheeky devil just assimilates away thanks to that Eon disc. Yeah, that Eon disc. Though she fleet not hitting anything, they're thinking about going in. Oh, they got Nick's Quinn. Assassin. He's got no BKB. He's dead. One more touch will secure it, and with no buyback, they'll need the RP. Inside the Wukong, Samael Stewart back. That's a good amount of damage, but MSS, he's been destroyed. Samael going deep with Thompson. They want LOA with the E-Blade Strike, but they can't finish off the Phoenix. Instead, they want the Monkey King slapped up, and a big splitter will rip him in half. Buyback yeah, well, available, needs to do it. Has to buy back, and we're in a 3v5 as OG well, in shrink. the water now. Quincy Crew, a wounded animal. And OG and the Hunters it's looking to finish off the kill. Thompson, he's on Lion. They've got you all. This is and it, they call it. one done. Third call, and it's what a turnaround from OG in game number one. After a superb lady stage and early game from Quincy Crew. OG! Spirit right away though, and OG is a little bit grouped up. Soxa just runs right into him here, spots him out. They're gonna try and quickly kill him, but he does manage to get off the Will of Wisp. That's gonna stall a lot of things here. The Glimmer Cape is helping protect him right now. The Courier's gonna die, uh, as well as Soxa. They're gonna throw off that Stampede to try and chase down Samael. He does manage to get the slow, but an Echo Slam turned around by Samael off of that Pit of Malice, which is gonna keep them chains done, but a Winter's Curse cast by LeBron. Stalls things out, Cold Embrace himself, and he'll try and survive through that missile. Meanwhile, a Sonic Wave wiping Ooh. out Bro oh, G. Now Seb going for the desperation TP out, but no, they are all dead. And you. then an Observer Ward being destroyed. Non-stop. The, only the best coming out from OG as well as paid here. Nice two-man Fisher. Echo Slam going out immediately onto LeBron. They're going to try and focus it. 
but the time lapse it actually saved him. He four staffs away. Now he can Winter's Curse at his leisure, and he sees an opportunity to be able to catch three while they take down No Tail at the same time. A nice shards goes out and does some damage. 33 is about half HP. Excalibur retreats to the high ground, but Ghost it goes in. He hits the stomp onto Samael. Samael no longer have the Satanic, but the Paladin Sword is keeping him plenty high. The time lapse removes all that damage from Ghost Stick. A call to brace helps persevere a little bit longer, but he's just being wailed on by five heroes right now. Will it be enough? Can Bait somehow bail him out of here? Doesn't look like it. They don't feel confident about this fight at all. They're all going to try and run away. LeBron's going to be the first one out. Excalibur blocked in by the Sprout. Jumped on by No-Tail. He's dead as well. And he drops the gem. One has no buyback. They're immediately going to use the repair kit on the mid lane. The Divine Rapier has been bought, though, by Samael. What if the just courier not dies? here yet. Oh, okay. Phew. It's going to roll on out. knows he'll ult the courier and blink and snipe that Divine Rapier. But no, to no That's avail, sick. it will be delivered. He's going to try and distract them away from this uh, tower to let it heal up. But that Samael. So much damn. Oh, my God. It's just ripping apart these buildings. They don't want to have to use their buyback on Excalibur here. No, like you gotta be careful of standing too close. Yeah, to the, oh my God. the fish are going out now. The, the flat cannon shots. He's got to be careful of that. The cold embrace is gonna save him, but now the ultimate's gonna be going dropped by Samael, and it looks like he may just die here. As LeBron's out. He does have buyback though. A stomp on his Samael. Samael is so deep. He's gone past the tier fours, but immediately the satanic on up. The winter's curse catching some of the backline heroes, and well, Samael actually walks, walks into, it. into it. Now 33. He drops a little bit low. Dendy playing it slow on the side. He's ready to jump back in with Excalibur. Seb. He's gonna go for the retreat there. Sounds the alarm. Dark rift out there. Way. You guys can watch it while we'll keep an eye on any potential so action. Oh, back into it. He managed to get the Fisher into an Echo Slam onto a Scalper. They say by the time Lodge put uh, him back into his team with the Dark Whip. The all the brace was used as well, and he's just stuck and he's dead. Chakra magic. Be forced quite soon. Denny's going to TP back. They need to be here hurt uh, real fast, though. Those creeps are going to die. They don't have a glyph. They need to be able to save this. The science goes out. It bounces back onto Dendi. They do time-lapse Dendi, but now Samael has activated Satanic, throwing out some damage. LeBron in the back lines. He's just been he's shot down the by the gyrocopter. Ghost take Orchid it up. Dendi's trying to poke at Samael, but he's just going straight for the Ancient. They're trying to back and forth between the, the Ancient, but they can't actually stay in the fountain. Samael's just going for it, and he should be able to finish off the stuns in the second scepter. That's enough. Jeez.